Yep. Here's the air tractor, boys. I have to add the bottom part of the tail down here because I uh, cut it off so I can get the elevator in. I definitely got to put supports on the tail. Uh, yeah. We got the main shape of the body. It's going to be poster boarded in the back and some in the front here. There's that. It's got a super beefy power pod. That thing in the front there. I mean, like, look at this thing. This is the back of the power pod. That's the front. It's a huge power pod. So, it also got side storage here, too, for weights if it's too heavy. Yeah, the canopy's gonna go right here. Foam board, or poster board in the back. And the wings are gonna go from the body to, like, here. They're huge. They're gonna, it's gonna be probably like a four foot wing on a four foot plane or a three foot wing or something like that. But yeah. Servo. This is not a C motor. It has, it's a new flight test motor. It's got a lot of power. It had a bottom on this. It was this thing. It made it so much harder to turn. Look at, Look at this reaction time. <laughs> good for a really for $18 servo or for a uh, $2 servo really good reaction time yeah the thing is when it when you turn it this way it lines back up. You turn it this way though, it doesn't. So it's not too big of a deal, but yeah. The servos are not in the wings yet. But that's the crop duster. You gotta put wing tips on it and servos and uh, it looks really good. I think the wings might be just a little too big, but it's to carry all the weight of the plane. So it's good. So here we got, got the uh, shock. For this, the tire goes in here and uh, when it comes into land, it hits the ground, it goes. That's a really stiff shock, so it should provide sufficient, um, like enough stuff, enough uh, shockiness or whatever it's called to stop the plane or to keep get it good. But it's gonna go right there like that, so it's gonna look nice and good. I might actually extend it down to here. But, yeah, that's it.